everybody. Cutco Mike here with the camo. And uh, there's nothing more exciting than opening up a box of Cutco. And I do want you to know there's about 12 to 24 people who are still waiting patiently for your Cutco. Every day I'm keeping track of everything. I'm on my tracking site. I'm on my Cutco backend system. And if your order was placed before December uh, 10th at 10 a.m., you have nothing to worry about. It is guaranteed by Christmas. You will get your stuff. You will get your stuff. I 100% promise that you will get your stuff. And for some reason, if you are the one or two that magically does not get your stuff, we will make sure we get you something for free. And we'll make sure that uh, we make your Christmas even more special. So a lot of people's mats are now finally arriving uh, on the Beast signature and the Homemaker sets. Um, there's a few items that have run out of stock. Um, we didn't expect to have such a crazy uh, couple months, but uh, Cutco has been working around the clock and uh, working tirelessly, I mean, from... 8 a.m. to midnight, and I know the factory workers are working around the clock. So um, the good news is you will get your stuff. You will get your stuff. You will get your stuff. Um, and like I said, for some reason, if you're worried, you can message me, and I'll reassure you that it will make it in time. And uh, for some reason, if it doesn't, you know I will go the extra mile and, and wow you with some form of bonus gift. Um, if you do need any images or if you need any coming soon or you're going to get this in the mail kind of cardstock, reach out to me. Um, and I will get you that. But Christmas is next Saturday. So Cutco is, like I said, they're working around the clock. They're working tonight, tomorrow. I think they're even working Sunday. But they are, uh, they are promising to get everybody's order 100% guaranteed by Christmas. So that might mean it might come on Friday of next week, Christmas Eve. But um, you will get your stuff. So I want to show you what's inside this box here. And um, if you're like me, uh, there's nothing more exciting than getting uh, Cutco in the mail and opening up Cutco. And, uh, and maybe you're watching this and you're like, what the heck, 7,000 bucks? Well, the one thing I will tell you is the word Cutco and sheep are never in the same sentence. And the word Cutco is always associated with quality and the best. And uh, we never have to apologize for quality when we charge you what we charge you, right? So a few of you, uh, Karen, I see you just joined on. Uh, your unicorns were put in the mail yesterday. But um, I had a, a, a beyond blessed year. And as a, a 1099, I'm always looking for ways to, uh, to, to write off things. So, And I always promote this to business owners and farmers and people that have customers. If you haven't thought about some extra write-offs this year, um, you know, our pocket knives are great for farm use. If you have a fishing charter or you have an outdoor company or if you are a, a dentist, an accountant, a financial planner, I mean, the list goes on. Roofing, construction, remodeling, flooring, carpet. If you just run a small business and you want to appreciate an, empl an, an employee or a top customer, buy Cutco and give it to people at the start of the year. Don't just give it to them at Christmas. Obviously, that's the traditional way of giving a gift. But um, think about, you know, if you need any write-offs, get some orders in before the, the 31st. I'm doing our best deal still to the 31st at midnight. And I literally just ordered um, $7,000 worth of stuff. And I'm still not sure how I'm going to use it. But uh, you know me, I'll probably give away a lot of it. And um, I want to show you what's in the box. So you guys ready? All right, so I will tell you this. Um, there's nothing more exciting, and this is my 17th year, than opening up Cutco that's, uh, I mean, it never gets old. And would you agree that it never gets old? So this is gonna be more of my war chest uh, box here. And this box has a lot of what we call as toys for the boys and the girls who love the outdoors. And, uh, and if you've never seen our hunting line, uh, this stuff right here, I mean, this is the best of the best. So if you're like, oh, I know Cutco knives are great, I know they make good stuff, but I mean, I will tell you this, guys. Cutco outdoor stuff is, I mean, far none. I mean, I will put this up against Buck Kershaw. I'll put it up against uh, Snap-on Gerber, Sog, you name it. Uh, old timer, Case. 
And uh, this is a Cutco knife. I call this your, I call this your garage knife or your truck knife. Because think about a time where you get all these boxes or you get mulch or you get just random stuff you need to just saw and hack up. This is the drop point with the DD edge. And uh, I got a couple of these in my box. And um, you never know, I might even give something away on this video. I can't promise you I will, but I do want to tease you and remind you how amazing things, these things are. And if you have any of these, you can comment or like and say, oh my gosh, that's you're right, Mike. So this that's the drop point in the black. And if you're like a policeman or law enforcement, or if you have a go bag, this is a great little piece to keep in your go bag. I like to keep one of these in my car. I like to keep one of these in my garage because there's always something I need to open up. Or if you're a farmer, you need to cut net wrap and hay bales and belling twine. So we got one of those. Actually, we got two of those. So we are gonna load up. And the reason why I did this is because every year, at the end of the year, I load up on Cutco because all the deals kind of expire at the end of the year. I always give my best price guarantee, but you gotta think, come January 1st, everybody's gonna be burnt out from Christmas. You're gonna be looking at your credit card statements. So get a, get your order on the statement now, right? Get it on there now, because you're gonna have these bills come January, February, March. And I'm not telling you to go broke, but if you're gonna spend money at the mall or at Costco or Sam's or on Amazon, throw some Cutco on that credit card because you know this is gonna last. And this is going to be well better than 90% of things you get on on Amazon, Kohl's, uh, last minute, right? So I ordered three of those because uh, you never know, I might give them away. But those are the drop point with the DD Edge. Oh, this is the beast. Does anybody know what this one is? This is the K-Bar. And guys, if you've never ordered any of our outdoor line, you are missing out. So this, in Cutco bought K-Bar in 1996, and we have two K-Bars that are co-branded. And what that means is you can buy K-Bar online, you can buy K-Bar at knife and gun shows, you can buy them at military surplus shows, but you can't buy a Cutco K-Bar anywhere except through a Cutco dealer. And obviously I'd love to be your dealer if you're new to me and new to the group. But this is the only Cutco that has a half DD, I'm sorry, more of a third DD and a smooth edge. And this thing right here engraves well, you can chisel with it, you can saw with it. I mean, if you just know anybody who's an outdoorsy person in the military, law enforcement, firefighter, this thing is a beast. And I will tell you, the reason why I loaded up on stuff, one is I wanna get a bigger tax write off for supply use and giveaway use. And uh, I might be planning something crazy for my million dollar celebration, so. I will say this, if you're not getting my notifications and you're not uh, you know, liking and commenting on everything, uh, I would and, and not miss out. So if you have this and you're like, how do I open this? It's, it's got a what we call is a mole compatible, which these things go on go bags. You can put them on, you know, if you're military, you know, you could put these on a uniform and these are military, you know, top of the line. You know, you can't find anything better than this, but you basically just push off right there. And that's not coming out. You know, if you go running, hiking, that's not coming out on you. Pretty cool. And feel free to comment because we're going to go through a lot of stuff. This is 7000 bucks in this box. And uh, obviously I make my commission back and I get some uh, some perks, you know, for being a dealer. But I still uh, dropped a pretty penny on this. And my wife, if she's watching, she's probably going to come down and go, what the heck am I doing? But to be Cutco Mike, you got to have the artillery, right? So uh, how many K-bars did we get? Well, we got two of the big boys, because you can never have too many of the big boys. And uh, yeah, those things are awesome. Actually, what we'll do is we'll load them up over here so you can see, you can see the uh, artillery. All right, so this one's pretty cool. This is the other K-Bar, and it comes with the green handle too. So this is the only K-Bar that actually has an interchangeable. Yeah, everybody goes, where did you get this? So about 10 years ago, I had a Walmart uh, hunting vest, and uh, one of my uh, local, uh, vendor partners uh embroidered it so everybody's like i need one of those so this is the other k-bar i call this the um actually one of my buddies who's a firefighter i went to high school with he calls it the pig because he's a firefighter and he was doing drill and they were popping out school bus windows and cutting up school bus seats and vinyl siding and i said how was it and he said dude that thing's a pig i don't know what that means pig could be i like bacon pig could be it's huge. I don't know, but he said it's a pig. And uh, a couple of you guys actually has this as a hunting knife. 
And this is the thickest knife we make. You can see it's even thicker than a cleaver. This thing is not breaking. I mean, this thing, there is no chance of this thing breaking. And what's cool about this, and I'll actually show you here, because most of you guys are bored on a Friday like me, and uh, what's more fun to do than talk knives, right? So you actually get these handles, and these are basically like the same ballistics as like a nine millimeter on a shield. So if you're like, how well are these things gonna hold up? This is not like your cheap Walmart plastic or foreign plastic. So it gives you, it gives you this little hex wrench. I think it's a hex wrench, Allen wrench. And, um, and basically, you can switch the handles out. So talk about having some fun with your knives. And may, maybe, maybe you didn't even know this was a cool feature. So I'm always trying to educate you on, um, on what makes Cutco cool. So we'll pop those all out and um, we'll switch the handles up for you. So that's what's cool about the Cutco is this one actually, if you're into the Walking Dead or you wanna be able to spot it, that bright green handle is a really cool little feature. So you can actually, um, um, spot it when uh, when you drop it. So what's cool is that'll come right off. Look at that. I mean, this is there's nothing better than a Cutco. The only thing I would say that's better than a Cutco is a Cutco K bar because I mean you get the best of both worlds. And then we're gonna pop this backside off. And look at that. I mean, that, by the way, if you're like, oh man, 230 bucks for a knife. Look at this thing. Seriously, look at this thing. This is not a knife. This is like a piece of a tank right here. This thing is not breaking on you. I mean, literally, without the handle, I can destroy something. And like, let's say you're like out in the wilderness and you have a big old spear you need to make. This thing right here could literally become a spear where you need to like eat and live off the land. So if you're like, what's the coolest knife to give somebody that's like got everything they can think of? I think this is a pretty cool one here. So, um... So here's what we're gonna do. Let me pop these out. I haven't done this in a while, so this is kind of new and fun. Oh, I gotta go on the back side here and take out the screws. So you gotta take out the screws on the back side too. So did anybody not know that that was a feature? Feel free to comment. Yeah, that, yeah. A lot of guys that have done business with me or wives, they always pick this one up because it's a really cool piece. Um, I did use this one for the, um, the cut go Mike Tomahawk um, cowboy steak. And I will tell you, talk about a steak knife. The K Bar Outdoorsman, whew, that is a steak knife. So, yeah, this thing right here is uh, called the Outdoorsman, but it is truly, it is truly a beast. I mean, it it's the biggest and thickest knife we make. So, give yourself a few minutes if you're going to switch the handles around. It's not just a little pop and play, it takes a few minutes of. Uh, taking the uh, the screws out. But guys, yeah, if you're watching or just joining me, I'm going through basically what I call my war chest of gifts. And if you have a business or you're a farmer or you're just looking for more tax write-offs or if you're like, oh my gosh, I forgot about my brother. I forgot about my dad. I forgot about Papa. Call me right now, message me. Well, I won't be able to answer right now because I'm on the video. And what I'll do is I'll give you my best deal. And then... Um, and then I'll send you a picture and you'll just tell them something sweet is coming. All right, so now we're gonna put the green handle on. So you put it just like that. And then, um, all right, so then we're gonna put these little bolts back in. So it's kind of like, uh, it's kind of fun. It's kind of like a little, um, what do you call this? Like a little adult fun workshop here. Yeah, so uh, if you're just joining me, thanks for watching. We'll show you some more fun stuff here in a minute, but this is kind of cool. This is the only Cutco knife that actually has a uh, interchangeable handle, which everybody think is pretty sweet. And these bolts and rivets, they're not going anywhere. There is nothing cheap about this knife. Nothing low quality about this knife. So uh, I didn't know there were two K-bars. Yeah, so there is two K-bars. Yeah, bow hunting, Nick. Yeah, Nick's my uh, my uh, young protege here from uh, Missouri, who's gonna be uh, my hunting consultant here. He's been uh, really helping me out with uh, um, some great names and uses for hunting knives. So yeah, Nick, feel free to comment, or if you're a hunter or a sportsman, I know a lot of you have used this to field dress. 
I will use this to hike with and cut a big old cowboy steak. But um, yeah, what's cool is we're switching out the handles right here live. And that comes, you don't get to pick either or, it comes with both. So you can see these bolts, I mean, look at how thick that blade is. I mean, that is, that's not going anywhere. All right, so there you have it. Look at that, pretty cool. And then uh, we'll come back and screw that on later, okay? All right, so we got the uh, drop points. We got the K-bars. What else do we got? Oh, we gotta get two K-bars, because you know if I give one away, or uh, I throw one in you know, with the deal, I gotta have a backup. All right, so if you know the item numbers, what's this one here? This one is 59, 5719H. So on the hunt knives, I always say if you're gonna use it out in the field, get the orange. And by the way, there's nothing better than brand new Cutco. And this is genuine leather. There's no cheap fill. These sheets are worth, you know, worth their weight in gold because they're gonna patina and wear really nice. And uh, oh baby. So this is the clip point. A lot of guys go, oh, I don't like serrated. But remember, Cutco's got three razor blades on the inside. And this is literally like three times the amount of smooth edges of the world's sharpest straight edge on a Cutco knife. So if you need to cut through a rib cage or you need to saw around the joints, you need to pop out some areas where you're like, man, I'm worried about my knife breaking. Um, so this one actually I sold to a guy named Rob Wielander at the uh, Iowa State Fair. And he was using a buck knife to autopsy and post and process hogs for the uh, state of Iowa. And he said, Mike, I will try that knife out. And if I don't like it, I will get you kicked out of Iowa State Fair and I'll get you kicked out of Old Thrushers, which is two of my biggest shows in Iowa. And I said, all right, handshake, you got my word, you're gonna love it. About three weeks later, he emailed me and said, um, it literally almost severed the head off of a hog. Um, so this thing right here, if you're a hunter, it is, it's not gonna build up the hide. It is not gonna rip and tear. It's gonna go through like butter. So that's the clip point. The clip point, if you're gonna get two hunting knives, I always say if you don't use a if you don't use a um, a gut hook, I like the clip point DD, and then the fillet knife with the smooth edge. Those are my two favorites to sell, but everybody's got their own preference. So we got one of those, we got two of those, and uh, we got three of those because you can never have too many hunting knives, right? And then speaking of the fillet knife, I call this a boning processing knife, not just a fillet knife because I do a lot of shows where I deal with meat processors, uh, people that post, people that process meat, people that are uh, hunters, farmers, campers. So this thing right here is pretty cool. So you have a line cutter built in with your blade inside. Yeah, I know you guys use this for trout fishing. I know everybody's got, you got a little sharpener for your hooks. I've never used this, but people, if you need a quick little touch up, you wanna go with the more of a 15 degree angle but you know we have the forever guarantee. And then you pop this around and then you got pliers right here. So this actually can use as a gripper. So if you're like me, you don't like touching fish because you're a big chicken, you can hold your fish up and take your picture. You can hold your fish right there and fillet once the blade's out. So this is gonna be a six. So if the sharpener's wearing down, we could send it in and get you a replacement. So this actually has what we call a pressure grip. So you just kind of open that up and then now your blade goes from six to seven to eight to nine to 10 inches. And you can even buy replaceable blades. I don't know if you knew this, but I think they're like 43 bucks. It's probably a little cheaper just to buy a deal uh, with, the whole, um, with the whole thing. But um, yeah, these are the, the filet boning processing knives. And I know I'm running out of space here, but these things are very flexible. And uh, you can go to that nine inch blade and uh, really get underneath there. And it even shows you six to nine inches there. So yeah, I have hunters that'll use this for any kind of boning, processing. I have guys that use this for brisk. I mean, look at how big that is. That looks like a sword, right? Use that for brisket and barbecue because you got the nice, see a lot of times people go, I want a cut go knife that doesn't slip on me. Obviously if your hands are bloody and greasy, I will sell this as a barbecue knife for guys that do catering and barbecuing, and they'll usually get in the black or orange. Uh, G and W Sausage, I know they're on the group here. They sold it, but um, G and W Sausage actually bought like six of these from me. So at all the shows in St. Louis when they're sampling their sausage, they're using a Cutco. 
So how many fillet knives did I get? One, two. What would you do if this box showed up underneath your tree? Would you be pretty pumped? If you're just joining me, we're going through a war chest of Cutco. We've already gone through some of the K-bars, some of the hunt knives, the fillet knives. And uh, the reason why I bought this one is I believe in Cutco. I'm going to probably give some of this away. Um, I've already hit a million, but uh, I'm about 50K away from breaking the all-time December record. So knowing me, I, I always like set, uh, selling and setting records. Um, all right, so let's see what this one is. This is 17... 5717. So we already showed you the clip point. And if you're just joining me, everything Cutco sells has its label emblem somewhere. So if it says Cutco, it's guaranteed forever. So even the sheath, like I've seen some of these break, they're hard to break, they're guaranteed forever. But if you're like, oh my gosh, I forgot about dad, I forgot about brother, I forgot about my son, I can't guarantee it by Christmas. But what I can do is I can send you some uh, some some imagery, and I can also send you a little card that says something awesome's coming. But yeah, this is the gut the gut hook. You know, a guy told me this on a military base. He said, "Do you know why the gut hook was invented?" And he said it was guys around a campfire uh, warming up their coffee, uh, military guys, and this is how they would lift up their coffee with the uh, hook. And I don't know if there's any truth to that, but it's a pretty logical thing. So you got your gut hook zipper right here. And by the way, that's real sharp. Let's see how sharp it is. All right, so I might not be able to do that. Oh, actually. All right. Uh, look at that. Is that pretty awesome? So that's how cool and sharp, like that's literally Cutco's gut hook. I mean, talk about, talk about, talk about sharp. I mean, there's no phrase in that. Is that awesome? So yeah, if you're just joining me, we're just showing you what I do for fun. I buy Cutco and I give it away and I do videos, right? So yeah, that's the Cutco DD. So if you're like, why do I get a DD? My belief is you go with our flagship. So the DD edge is our flagship, but our straight edges beat any other straight edge. It's just the straight edges will go through about three to seven kills or tags or field dresses. The DD edge could go through about three times as much. Obviously, if you're rough and tough with the knife and you're hitting bones and you're cutting on concrete or you're cutting on, you know, metal stainless tables, I would say take that back about a half of my recommendation. But then every year when the hunting season's over, send it in. So, yeah, so uh, a long time ago, I had a guy buy $4,000 worth of hunt knives and I thought it was the coolest thing. So what did I end up doing? I went out and spent $7,000 on, on Cutco hunting knives. So, uh, yeah, nothing more fun than having Cutco. So that was the gut hook, and we got a couple of those. All right, so that's the 17. Oh, this one here. This is my baby. Let me see if this is it. This is my baby right here. Oh, I love this one. All right, so... This right here is the original Cutco hunting knife, okay? There's nothing, there's nothing better than opening up a brand new Cutco Deluxe hunting knife. If you wanna wow somebody, or if you're just on this group and you're like, what do I get my husband? Or if you're a dude or you're just a male watching me and you're like, I think I have everything. You don't have everything until you have this. This is the Cutco Deluxe hunting knife, but just watch this. I mean, look at this thing. This right here, I've never hunted. Yeah, you can keep this in your truck. But this is this is the ultimate steak knife right here. We don't sell it, label the steak knife. Yeah, Randall, you need this one, buddy. Or this is the, the next year's gift for everybody. This right here is literally the most beautiful feeling knife you'll ever feel. It just fits, it literally, my hand wants to go to sleep. It's just that comfortable right now. But just imagine cutting a T-bone, cutting a filet mignon, cutting your rib roast, cutting a pork chop. I mean, this thing right here, I have one customer, and uh, he's from Iowa, and uh, he's in the top 10, so if you want to figure out who it is. And he's got six of these, and uh, he said next year at the fair he's going to buy the other six because he wants to be the first guy to have the Beast 2.0. And that's the, the ultimate set with these as steak knives. DJ, if you're watching, I'm still at the mall for a few more days. So DJ said he's going to show up and maybe go beast mode, but we already hit a million, so we'll see if DJ's motivated by the goal or not. 
But uh, these right here, I will tell you, um, most people say it's the coolest knife we make. I mean, seriously. Imagine if you had, imagine if you had New Year's or Christmas party and these were out as steak knives. And having everybody's name engraved on it, oh, doesn't get better than that. Oh, let me show you side by side here. By the way, who's going who's gonna to be the first one to get all 12 steak knives? All right, so this is the other brother. This is the brother to the pearl one. I like the pearl because it just pops, but not everybody loves the pearl like I do. Randall, I know. You're going to message me. You're going to message me on New Year's Eve and say, hey, give me a deal on those. There's the brother. What color do you guys like better? And by the way, it's not black. It's classic. So if you actually can kind of see, there's a little bit of red in there. So every cut go knife is small batch. So it, there's nothing that's identical. Even though they're made in the masses, but with the aid of machines and all handmade. So it looks like black from afar, right? But under a light, there's 90% there's black and then about 10% red. So imagine cutting a steak with one of those babies. I love it. I love it. You could get these with the DD. I did not because I want that smooth, delicate steakhouse feel when I'm cutting my cowboy. And I actually have one that I have engraved, Don't Tread on Me. So we can, we can engrave these too. Really, really fun. Really fun. All right. Is anybody getting uh, knife envy right now? And by the way, if you're still shopping for Christmas and you want some tax write-offs or you're like, I forgot about my brother, I forgot about my grandpa, message me and I will honor what I call my best price guarantee and uh, and load up. Load up for next year. I always have so many customers in January. January is actually not my smallest month. It's actually one of my bigger months because everybody's buying kind of the after Christmas and they're like, I'm just going to put it away until next Christmas. And obviously, I don't need that. I'm not... I'm not begging you for that, but a lot of people do that. Ooh, did I get, oh man, I did go crazy. I got two of those. So I got two pearls and I got two classics because you never know, you know, if I have a dinner party, I got to make sure that everybody gets one. All right, so then, um, oh, here we go. I like this one. This is for my duck hunters. So I have a lot of Ducks Unlimited clients and people that go duck hunting. And this is a smooth edge drop point. And this is just a very delicate knife for skinning. And this is perfect for duck and quail and geese. But I have a lot of hunters who use this as a hunting uh, knife too. But yeah, this thing's a beautiful piece right here. And the reason why we promote the orange is because if you drop it, you can find it. So yeah, if you're just joining me, I'm just kind of giving you a little knife envy here. But I'm also letting you know that uh, to be the best, you got to spend some money, right? You got to buy some stuff. You got to own some stuff. And I own everything. I am the number one client on my list. I think I'm at $120,000 spent over my lifetime. Obviously not all at once, but um, I will say that there's nothing more enjoyable to me than opening up new Cutco. And if you're like, hey, I have an old set, reach out to me and I'll help you get it sent in for refurbishing. Or I'll offer you like a little... Uh, um, buyback, not full price. I usually do 50% of the value and then we can put that towards a new set. So remember I have the brown fork upstairs. I had to get a white fork back for our ultimate set because I gave it away a long time ago. All right, so what else do I have? So that's another drop point. So yeah, these hunting knives, they add up quick. So I mean, 200 a pop on a lot of them. So, oh baby, oh. like It's like uh, poker chips, but in the form of pocket knives. So I got the uh, the lockback smooth edge, yeah, Mike. Yeah, Mike's uh, Mike's one of my Ducks Unlimited Iowa guys, and uh, yeah, the drop point smooth edge is amazing for duck hunting. All right, so this is I would say, and this no one has beat me. I mean, there's guys that'll come in with switch blades and think they're all cool, but there's nothing better than a forever guarantee made in America and uh, the power of Cutco. I will say this pocket knife is better than any pocket knife. I, I will make that bold of a statement because it's got the forever guarantee. It's thick as a cleaver, not quite as thick as the K-Bar, but I mean, it's pretty thick. Actually, it's pretty close. What's crazy is this pocket knife is almost as thick as a K-Bar. So it's a one thumb open and we don't put a spring or a self-assist because it's not gonna be guaranteed forever. 
I mean, if you put a spring in there, it's going to wear out. Or if you put a, 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 a really high power mechanism, you can't guarantee it forever. But I will tell you, this thing right here, one thumb open. And I like the DD Edge if you're a farmer. I call this the farmer knife. So at all my shows, I'll have farmer or Iowa farmer or, or thresher. But this will cut through three to 500 bales, around bales, net wrap, belling twine. You can saw with this. You can pry with this. I mean, this truly, in my opinion, is the best tool if you're an outdoorsy guy. I have like uh, Joe Witt. He's a truck driver. A lot of you are truck drivers. You give them out as gifts. Randall, you own a trucking company. People like these because when they're on the road or at a truck stop, this is what they use to cut their steak or their meal uh, in their truck or at a restaurant. So that's the DD Edge. And uh, I will say, if you're going to pick one, go with the DD to start. But if you're more of like, a, hey, my husband's not really outdoorsy, but he likes pocket knives. And uh, my husband maybe likes to sharpen his little pencil for his little uh, workbench. Then you have a smooth edge option. So there's your two edges. What team are you on? Team Smooth Edge or Team DD Edge? So let's see how sharp this is. If you like, uh, yeah, Kekka's not that sharp. Let's see. All right. Pretty sharp. Got a hole in the paper funky. Let me actually do it this way. There you go. Pretty sharp. Couple little, couple little grabs there, but that was, I think, owner's error, not, not the knife. But yeah, that's the smooth edge. And if you're wondering how long that'll last, I mean, if you're hitting hard stuff, I would say every year or two, it'd be good to send that in. But um, we do sell a handheld sharpener, and uh, that'll work on the smooth edge, and then that's the DD edge. DD, yeah. Roofing shingles, yeah. I mean, you can use that pocket knife for everything. All right, so we're getting down to the uh, we're getting down to the end here. Yeah, seven thousand goes pretty quick with Cutco. So if you're like, how do I get a black card? Just say, give me the dude's kit times three. And uh, oh, these are the small pocket knives. Actually, this will be a good comparison here. See, I like these. These are more like gentlemen's pocket knives or a wife in her purse. Or some people that are like casters or like they wear khakis a lot and they don't want the bigger pocket knife. These are just nice. They're really, really, they're really cute, but they're also really sturdy, right? So cute as in they're small and compact, but these have this nice little grip here. We don't have the thumb open as easy, but you can get your thumb in there and open it with that little, that little notch. But these things right here, if you're like, oh, that's not powerful. I mean, these are as thick as almost a chef knife. I mean, these are, they're not going anywhere. And, uh, you know, conceal carry, you know, if you need protection, put this under your keychain. But here's the size difference. So a lot of people always message me. I need to almost take a picture of them next to each other. So yeah, there's quite a bit difference, right? So 69 bucks retail, 110 bucks. So you can kind of see more metal. You have a clip, one doesn't, this one doesn't have a clip. It's got a little loop ring. You could put a little paracord in there. You could put a keychain. So yeah, if you're going like, hey, I want to wow somebody, I go lock back. Or if you own a company, you want to engrave it. These are, these are in my opinion, are a little better and a, of a wow factor. But these still are great too. Pretty cool. Is that helpful? All right, and then what else do we got in the dudes kit? And I say dudes, and you know, women obviously are able to buy Cutco too. But you know, 90% of my customers for the outdoor stuff are going to be male. Does anybody know what these are? Oh, these are my favorite things. Does anybody know what those are now? The super shears. You never have too many super shears. So we got a white pair. We got a classic pair. Classic pair. Classic pair. Oh, I got to get a couple red pairs in there. So why did I do this? One is I like Cutco and I give away Cutco and uh, I always need to load up my war chest. And uh, I always still need write-offs. So the more supplies I buy, the more I can write off from Uncle Sam, right? So there you go. Oh, let's see. So maybe you've never seen the shears before. But in my opinion, these are the greatest things ever created by Cutco. And I just learned this. These are actually one of the two things that we make that are actually forged with German steel. So these are American and German steel. And... Uh, 
I will say, there's nothing better than a Cutco scissors, and these things will last you 20, 30, 40, 50 years. And they will cut a penny, they will cut bacon, they will cut cardboard, they will cut zip ties. I mean, these things, in my opinion, if you don't have at least two pairs of these, you are missing out. At 90 degrees, they break apart. You don't ever want to mess with this. Don't ever try to tighten that or mess with it because it'll ruin it. But yeah, yours should open and close with just a nice little grab. It should be just a real small grab. If there's any nicks in your scissors or it's real tight or real loose, that's where we want to send them in and get them refurbished. And what Cutco will do is they'll actually realign them and retweak them and they'll realign, basically like, like realigning your tires. So yeah, so guys, there you have it. Um, once again, you know I'm crazy, and uh, you got to be crazy for Cutco. So if you're just joining me, thanks for watching. Uh, we're at about a million forty-eight thousand, so I'm already fifty thousand ish above my goal. Um, One point seven four and some change is my California competitions record that he set two years ago. So if you want to go crazy and load up for next year, many of you have already done that. So I'm super grateful. But if you're like you're like, what do I get? Or we got some big events coming up in the spring. Giving out Cutco non-Christmas time is actually even cooler because no one gets a gift for New Year's. No one gets a gift for Valentine's. No one gets a gift on a random Tuesday in March. So think about that if you own a company or employees or safety awards or uh, client appreciation. But if you're just like, Mike, you're, you're talking above my head, think of mom, dad, brothers, sisters, kids, we can engrave pocket knives with names, monograms. We can do Boy Scout emblems, military emblems, put a USA flag emblem. We can't do sports teams and major companies for trade trademark infringement unless you work for one of those teams and you get a write-off or you get a permission. We can do that. But we can't just say, oh, I'm a, I'm a Bears fan. Like, I want a Bears pocket knife because that's considered um, copyright. But, yeah, guys, reach out to me. Once again, hopefully you had some fun. Um, and that's what 7000 bucks worth of hunting knives, fishing knives, pocket knives, and scissors look like. Um, we need to make purse scissors. Yeah, back in the day, they made a little pocket knife that had scissors. But um, once again, Cutco's in business to make forever and to make something that they'll sell millions of units, right? So little one niche things are very hard to convince Cutco to make. But I will always take your ideas to the factory. So if you can pick one thing out of this, one thing that I can give you and bless you with, what would it be? Scissors, pocket knife, hunting knife, cowboy knife, fillet knife. I'm not gonna give it away now, but you know me, I'll probably do some contests. I think I'm gonna do a Christmas tree contest. So let me know what I should give away. And uh, thanks for watching everybody, God bless.